Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing video. It's a gorgeous morning. It is 6.30 this morning here in Orange Beach, Alabama. And then it should be nice and calm out in the Gulf. I say that now, but we'll find out once we get out there. But I like to run pretty far, do something I haven't done in this boat before. I just got my motor maintenance. We've ran it pretty good. And it, so far, thank the Lord, is running good. So y'all stay tuned, stick with me. Let's get to our spot and do some fishing. Eight and a half miles from outside the pass. So we are fishing on a reef and 76 feet of water, look how lit up that screen is. So this is your hard structure right here, and then this is all the fish above and bait. Usually you'll see a bunch of marks. So 75 feet of water, the Gulf surface temp is 59 degrees. So it's steadily rising, but we've had some cold nights again. So it's kind of holding it off a little bit, but 59 degree water temp. So I will show y'all what I'm using. I have some squid thawing out, and we'll go over the game plan for today. Much different conditions than the last time I was out. So, and I'm not throwing back a keeper trigger. First keeper trigger fish I catch is going in the cooler, because we're not playing that game this time. But uh, it's much calmer. I'm not getting beat to death. The ride out here is smooth. The wave interval is short, but there's hardly any waves. It's not white capping and the winds laid down. Perfect conditions, and I'm out here almost nine miles out in the Gulf of Mexico in a 17 foot skiff. But you know, you always wanna have a safety plan and a float plan, let somebody know where you're going. Cause you know, you go a little bit further out, you run out of cell service. So you have your good working radio, just make sure everything's working. You know, it's not something that you should take lightly if you come out here to get past that. Today, I'm gonna be using some squid on just a little dropper rig. So it's pretty much a pompano rig without floats and beads. So I tied this myself, really simple. I'm using one non-offset, non-stainless circle hooks and then a one ounce bank sinker here. So let's bait up with some squid. Enough talking, y'all join me. Let's get to fishing. So I got a whole squid here. You can also buy them in strips, but these are really easy to do. I'm gonna get my shears because I don't have a cutting board on the boat, but I'll cut off the main part and save that to fish with as well. But all you do, go through the squid and you make your own strips. Really simple to do. It helps to have a cutting board and sharp shears, but I don't. So open it up and then just cut little strips off. So these scissors are not sharp whatsoever. You just need small strips. These trigger fish have tiny mouths. That's all you need. And I don't know if y'all have ever seen a squid's backbone or bone. I cut a piece of it off. It literally looks like a plastic straw. It's so crazy. See that? That's part of its backbone that runs along the whole squid. There it is. Just like that. Just a cool little fun fact. That is a squid's backbone or spine, I should say. There's probably another term for it, but it literally looks like a piece of plastic or a straw. But we're gonna go ahead and bait up with our two pieces of squid here. Usually I like to run it a couple times through the hook, just so it stays on, just like that, really easy. Same thing on the bottom. Run it a couple of times and now we're ready to go. Now my setup I'm using today for this dropper rig is very simple. You don't need a whole offshore setup to do this. This is a 4,000 size pin spin fisher, 20 pound braid, it's fully spooled. And then this is a seven foot medium heavy fast action St. Croix Avid inshore rod. First drop, there's a little bit of current, nothing bad. All right, we're on the bottom now. Switch to this side because I don't want to face into the sun all day. Wait for that steady pressure like that. Oh yeah, first fish of the morning. First fish of the morning here. Come on, get up, be a target species. Doesn't feel that big, so we'll find out what you are. It is a target species, but it's nowhere near a keeper size. They have to be 15 inches fork length in Alabama. Cool looking fish, so they're beautiful fish. But that circle hook right there, which you have to use if you're fishing for reef species like we are. Here you go, buddy. Got the skunk off the boat this morning. All right, let's make another drop here. Okay, we're back on the bottom and have another fish. <laughs> like it's like instant <laughs> these things are cool you get them fired up you know after a few fish they either get real smart or they get fired up and we got a ruby red lips i'm saving that one for bait so we're gonna throw this in the live well that's another target species i wanted i wanted a ruby red lips or a tom tate there's no limits on these things so we're gonna throw that in the live well Let's get another piece of squid make another drop so it doesn't even have to hit the bottom and you already have a fish on Oh yeah, I knew that was gonna be a good drop. Uh, come on, <laughs> this is a little bit bigger fish, a little bit better one. Let's get it up and see what it is. Red snapper. So first red snapper of the morning. This wouldn't be a keeper even if they were in season, 
but these jokers are not in season so gotta let it go look at that fish they're gorgeous all right circle hook does its job okay i changed it up a little bit i have squid on the bottom and a piece of cut pogie on top so give them something a little different i don't think it'll take long to get bit yeah that didn't take long at all there it is see i'm curious to see which one they hit because they hit the pogey but more than the squid then i'll switch to pogey nah just a ruby red lips and it hit the squid i got a big reel and i want to head out deeper so maybe 15 miles i don't know yet it's calm enough i got enough fuel and i have a good float plan so let's go make a move i'll see you in a second I just came out 17 miles so i'm in 93 feet of water well i'm actually in deeper water but i'm sitting on top of the wreck even though i'm out here a little bit deeper same deal i'm gonna drop down some squid real quick and then i'll move on to fishing something bigger all right got a fish got one on <laughs> see if i can get my legal trigger without the dolphin stealing my fish that'd be cool See what it is. Oh, hey, beeliner, beeliner. Heck yeah, dude. So this is known as a beeliner or vermilion snapper. I just call them beeliners, but these are actually really cool. They only have to be 10 inches. We're gonna keep a few of these. These are delicious tasting fish. Yo, this porpoise is right below my boat. Can you see it? Look at that. There it is. It's coming up. Oh, that's so cool. It's got a calf with it. Wow, it's beautiful in this water. Kind of wish they would leave me alone though. I don't want them to take my fish. <laughs> so I just caught that bee liner. I like to get a few more. Those things are delicious. Anything with the word snapper in its name is good. Let's do another drop. Oh, it's oh. a nice fish. They just want to dig down into that wreck. Another bee liner. That's going to make it too. That's going to make the trip. There we go. These are such cool looking fish. <laughs> Second bee liner. You're allowed 10 a person. Let's drop it down again. Mm. Whoa. Mangrove. Mangrove snapper. That's gonna be a keeper on the squid. These things only have to be 12 inches. I love mangrove snapper, check that out. Heck yeah, y'all. Woo, changed it up a little bit. Yeah, that is awesome. You're allowed 10 per person of these and they have to be 12 inches total length. So he makes that mark. What an awesome fish, they taste so good. He's gonna go join our bee liners in the cooler. You're gonna go join your buddies reunite with them here in this cooler before i leave i'm going to take salt water fill up this cooler so i'll have a nice ice slush but right now i want to keep on fishing so that mangrove snapper actually ate the squid i'm using a squid and then a pogey on the top one just to change it up a little bit this is a good variety here still haven't caught my legal trigger fish yet but i'll take home snapper any day of the week ones that i can keep oh oh yeah that's probably a red snapper, if I was to guess, the way it's fighting. And I bet it ate, and I bet it ate that piece of pogey. But you never know what you're gonna pull up, so. Yeah, look at that red snapper. That thing is gorgeous. <laughs> and it ate the pogey, I called it. Those are such beautiful fish. Mm. Mm. Get up here. Oh man, another mangrove snapper. A good one too. Heck yeah, y'all. That's going in the box. A nice mangrove right there. On the squid, they're liking the squid. He gets to go join his buddies. I'm gonna take a whole pogey and drop this joker down on my bigger rod and see if there's any bigger snapper down there. Down, down, down she goes. 100 feet of water. All right, we are on the bottom. Oh. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, there's a good one. There's a good fish. <laughs> That's a good one. 
That's a good snapper. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, it's pulling line. That's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, 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 get up here. Get up here. Oh, dang, I can't stop it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. Uh, come on. Get up here. Uh, get up here. Uh, 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 come on. Ooh. Why do I do this to myself? Uh, uh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, uh, come on. Get up here. Oh, it's got to get me. I'm making a lot of noise because it hurts. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, 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 come on. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Uh, that's a big fish. <clears throat> It's a huge fish. Get up here. It's a big fish. I just want to see. Whoa! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Yo, that thing is huge! Oh, holy crap, bro. That's a giant snapper. Oh my god! Oh, that's a giant snapper. I am worn out. That was such my bad hand. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Y'all, this thing's gigantic. 26 pounds on the boga grip. This is my biggest red snapper ever. Look at its mouth. Yo, that thing is giant. I gotta let it go because I can't keep it. I wanna get a measurement. Oh, and it is back down to the bottom. I know y'all can't see that, okay? I know y'all can't see that because this camera's blurry, but I'm soaking wet, but I, my main focus is to vent that fish so it can swim back down. I have a beautiful cooler of fish. I didn't catch any trigger fish that were legal today. You know, I kind of cursed myself in the last video, but, but I will not complain about this cooler right here. That's two mangrove snapper, two bee liners, or vermilion snapper as they're called. Beautiful fish. Man, they're gonna taste so good, but that's what I call it today. So I'm gonna get some seawater in here and make an ice slush. That's the best way to chill these fish down on the way back in. You pretty much do a two to one. So two things of ice to one thing of seawater pretty much. So you wanna make a good slush and I guarantee you won't be able to hold your hand in it. I got a 20.1 mile trip back. Gulf's pretty flat, so it shouldn't be a problem. I got plenty of fuel. So I am gonna focus on getting back home safely and I'll see y'all back in Orange Beach. We're headed back. It's going to be pretty easy. <laughs> I, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm yelling on camera, but it's pretty loud out here. So I'm going to get the JL audio speakers rocking and head back in. What a beautiful day. Woo. That was awesome. We're almost back. Two more miles. Big old 92 foot Viking. I think that's Art Favre's boat, a work of art headed out in the Gulf. It's awesome. A beautiful boat. Well, I am back here at the dock. That was a pretty simple ride back. I was cruising 32 miles an hour the whole time until I got in the pass and I picked it up to 40. So didn't come in with any big boats luckily. So it was pretty simple. But it's a beautiful day out here in Orange Beach. 
get to go clean the boat and clean some fish but luckily i brought back some fish that was fun and very rewarding day but just check out how beautiful it is i get to go load this boat up so i appreciate y'all for watching if you haven't subscribed already don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it allows you to keep up some fun and entertaining content like this and allows the channel to grow if you enjoyed this content hit that like button and drop a comment down below i always love to hear from y'all but we'll see y'all in the next fishing video everything i use i try to link down in the description below including the sword tools link to their website because they are the sponsor of the channel once more and i appreciate them and y'all for doing so so we'll see you on the next bound saltwater fishing video i want to thank the good lord up above for everything he does for us we'll see you later